Hi guys, welcome back. So we're back today for the Europa League first knockout round against Wolfsburger. As you can see, we've, things have been going pretty well since the last episode. We're up to fourth in the league. We've played a couple of league games. So after the Napoli game, we beat Lazio 3-0, a really good win. All the goals coming in the second half. Mohamed and G's found a bit of goal scoring form. He got two of the goals and Igor Zagovic with a penalty. Then we played Fiorentina in the Coppa Italia quarter-final. We actually got through 1-0, a really good win away to last season's champions in Serie A. Igor Zagovic again with another goal. He seems to have found some real goal-scoring form lately. It's not normally a position I get much success from with goals, that attacking midfielder, playmaker role. And most recently, another excellent win. 4-0 away to Roma, Amasuchi, Pashev, Askilton and Addo with the goals. So yeah, as you saw, up to 4th in the league now. Still really tight though, basically down from 1st to 6th. A little cushion now to 7th with Lazio. So we should get European football hopefully, unless we completely implode. Again though, we are looking for Champions League football ideally. And we want to stay in this title race as long as possible, but Juve are having a really strong season. In terms of the Coppa Italia, we've been drawn against AC Milan. It is two legs though, so whoever deserves to go through will win hopefully. And it's Lazio versus Inter in the other game. But we are back today though for this first knockout round in the Europa League. We're at home in the first leg. Hoping we can get the job done pretty much. And then play a slightly weaker team in the second leg. But we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Annoyingly, I did want to give our new goalkeeper some game time, but I remembered I didn't register him. I think because of the rules in the Europa League, I couldn't register him, so... I'm going to have to go with Karnasek in goal. I'm going to rotate a little bit. I'm going to give Nil a game at right back, Zakaria a game in midfield, and Gorka Addo as the number 10. Give a few players with who've played a lot of games, like Takuna and Zagovic, a rest. Have a little look if they've got anyone decent. Okay, so the squad is mainly grayed out players as we saw before. But it doesn't look like that wow, well, that's that's a pretty good player. Yeah, it could be more difficult than I thought this. So despite them not having real players, they're pretty decent. Some of these are getting our squad. So four oh, we're giving Marco Salah a game at left back as well, being complaining about lack of football. So we are favourites, so I'll tell the team we're favourites for a reason. Bit of faith in everybody. Get them up for the game. Addo with this corner then early on, in towards Amos Hodzic and heads just wide. Good early chance. I was about to try and get the other fixtures up, see who's playing who. But we're into another highlight, nil with it down the right, back to Zakaria. Goes back to Bashao, Zakaria now, Jabua, Addo, Amasuchi, nice little link up play but it falls apart. As we try and build again and G. It was Pashev, Amasuchi on the volley, what a goal that is. Might have just strayed offside. He's not got his arm up when he's celebrating. That's such a shame, that was a really nice goal. Looks a tight one. Yeah, it was just offside, fair enough. It's a shame though, because that's a great volley. We're doing pretty well in the opening stages, but we haven't got anything to show for it yet. Bit of encouragement as usual. Nil's taken a big knock there. Might have to take him off soon. So we're building from the back here into Jabua. 
finds Pashev into Addo. Can he find a pass? Addo through ball. Amasuchi's through again. And this time he hits the post. We can't quite find the opener. Ten minutes to half time. We've got a corner now again. Addo into Osam Hodzic and heads over. We've been a bit wasteful here. I think the plan of completely finishing the tie in the first leg doesn't look like it's going to happen. Another set piece here. Addo over it again. Ahmed Hodzic misses another one. Pashev with his free kick, poor free kick, straight to the keeper, who distributes quickly. It doesn't look like they're posing too much of a goal threat there. I haven't seen a whole lot from them, so of course they'll probably score with their first whole lot. Addo now, and G plays that ball in behind to Jabua, getting forward from midfield, he's down this left side, crosses it, falls to G, who continues his goal scoring form, his fifth of the season. I think they've all come in about the last month or so. A really nice finish there, getting into the box. Jabur does well down this side. Looks like he needs support, but he digs out across. Pashev, I think, nods it down, and then G pokes it into the bottom corner. Just before half time, we finally get a goal that we deserve. A few minutes added on. Okay, so a good performance in the first half, but only the one goal to show for it. I'm going to say we're doing well, but we're capable of even better. I'm going to take Neil off before he gets injured. Or even more injured, I should say. Takuna on there. A couple of other players that are going to need to be subbed off soon. Pashev, Ahmed Hodzic. Can we get the second goal before we go into the away leg? Ideally you want two, three goal cushion. Goal kick sent forward. Ahmed Hodzic, I think he's handballed that. He's gonna go here. His second yellow card, so unnecessary. He's about six foot five, why is he handballing the ball in the air? Okay, so th this tie just became a lot more tricky. So, I think Addo is going to be the unfortunate player that comes off here. It's a shame as well, he's playing 7.5, been our second best performer so far. Patel is going to come on there, we'll swap him and Bashar around. So yeah, we've made this a lot more difficult than it needed to be for the last half an hour. Pashev's touring as well, we'll take him off. We've only got the one sub left, so we've got to be careful. I'll bring in Amin Gori here on this left side. Gives us more of a goal threat at least. Highlight disappears. Takuna sends one in here. Gori collects on the left. Pulls it back to Jabua. Salah with a cross. And G heads easy for the keeper though. Sends it long. Takuna should deal with it, and he does, gets it back to Karnasechi. We're building from the back here, Jabur into Gori. Amasuchi plays a 1-2 with him, Gori down the left side. Salah crosses it again, Amasuchi heads it in the top corner. He's celebrating with his arm up, I think this one will count. And that's 2-0, ideal to get that second goal, especially while we're down to 10 men. Seeing them on the attack for one of the first times in the game, shot with it now. Besic down the left side, into the box, we need to keep this clean sheet intact. Besic crosses it, and they head over. Fairly comfortable. Should maybe waste a bit of time here, but we'll look for the third goal. Takuna with the corner. Bashao gets the third. And hopefully that's us into the next round. Really good performance here, considering we're down to 10 men. Could argue we've actually played better, adding two more goals. We're into yet another highlight here. Starts with a goal kick at the back. 
Jabu, that's a really poor ball and they've missed an absolute sitter there. A real let off there because that was shocking from Jabu. Only a few minutes away from full time now. Coming out of fourth, Salah to Jabu. Salah with another cross. Putting some good balls this game. And Amasuchi denied at point blank range. Surely the last whole lot of the game here. But Shao sensibly sends it long. Amasuchi down the left side into the box. Keeps going. That looked like a foul surely in the box there on Amasuchi. A really rough tackle. Gory with it now. Amasuchi, can we get this fourth goal? Not sure if this is just an end of game of all. We've got a free kick on the edge of the box. Gory will send it in. It's past everyone. I think that will be full time. And there it is. The 3-0 victory in the home leg. Ideal result. Especially considering that stupidity from Armand Hasic getting sent off of that handball. Give him a bit of praise. Okay, so look at some of the other results then. Ajax and Frankfurt's level after the first leg. Leverkusen look like they're going to get past Astana. Dortmund are in here, of course, playing Sporting. Draw through the first leg. Lazio, the other another Italian team, still in here. So they'll be into the next round. Leon beating Anderlecht. So we've got Torino in two days time so I'll play that off camera and I'll be back for the second leg. Should all be done and dusted but you never know. Right so I'm back for the second leg now. We played Torino in between and everything went about as well as it could have gone. A 4-0 win away from home. Pashev and G with another two goals and Amasuchi getting his goal at the end. A really good win away from home. Bit of news I've just seen as well that the under 20s are into the under 20 cup final which is good to see and I also noticed they won it last year as well which is really nice to see so it shows we've got a lot of talent at the club and around probably half of them are Samaranese albeit the best ones probably are the, the foreign players like Sizek, Sanya etc Right, so we're trying to hang on to this three goal lead in the second leg. I'm actually going to gamble and play quite a rotated team because we've got Juve coming up in three days time. And then Milan. I think we're going to have to come back for those two games in the next episode. Considering we are in a little bit of a title race at the moment potentially. And a cup semi-final so I don't see how we can't cover that. So the only players really that will keep the place Akana Sechi and Bashao. Everyone else has been rotated. Big gamble. Need the likes of Blin, Zakaria to do a job for us. Rivera as well, playing completely out of position for this game. Because I want to save and G for the league. We do have Amasuchi and G and Zagovic on the bench to come on if needed, if it really starts to go wrong. But surely we can manage to avoid a three goal defeat here. So even the assistant manager is recommending us say we cannot allow complacency to undo all of the good work done in the first leg. Go out there and treat this as if you're starting from scratch. Completely agree. Looks like they've got a massive stadium but not not particularly full. I noticed as well by the way, we haven't drawn a game since October. We basically just win or lose. And thankfully the majority of the time it's been wins. Quite opening start here then, don't mind it. Would like us to pose more of a goal threat, that's a little bit better, we're getting some shots away. It's going to be us on the attack. Salah with the throw in. 
Crossed it into the box. Rivero heads in at the back post. He's off celebrating. We're 1-0 up in the away leg. The 20 odd fans behind the goal are loving it. VAR confirms the goal. Marco Salabo, the way with the assist, has requested to leave the club now. He's not getting enough football. I did promise him he'd have some more football, but I've kind of lied a little bit there because Simicass is clear choice at left back. Karnasec as well was one who wanted to move to a bigger club, but we, he's finally agreed a new deal here, which is really good. Pretty solid goalkeeper, definitely the best we can get at the moment. So they're on the attack here now. Taifema into the box. Bessic heads it in. He's grabbing the ball, so I assume this one's going to count. And they've got an equaliser on the night. 4 1 on aggregate. Surely no more than a consolation. A lot more even this game, though, stats wise. Gory now with it. Zakaria. Not sure he's got out for the box to box roll and we've lost it here. Zillinger taking on Salah. Cross. Bashao gets a good head on it. He's been a really solid signing. Zillinger into the box. And Magic slots it in. And this is becoming a bit more of a game now. I'm going to demand more from the team. I will annoy them, of course, because we are winning on aggregate. But And that's a huge save from Karnasechi. The flag does go up in the end. But yeah, that's not an ideal end to the half here. Looks like complacency has definitely crept in, and they're really going for it. I'm going to say I'm not happy with it. A bit of a gamble because of the aggregate scoreline. Andrea Bellotti, another one that wants to leave the club, not doing himself any favours with this sort of performance, 6.4. I think I'm going to risk it for another 10 minutes, but if there's any more sort of scares defensively, I'm going to look at bringing some of the big hitters on, try and finish the game off. Them again with the whole lot, throwing down this left side, shot, goes back, shot again, right shirt, but best stitch now, Fella, Fella, low cross, magic, back post, and they've got another one back, 3 1 on the night, 4 3 on aggregate. I think it's safe to say at this point I've rotated the team too much. Sakaria go ball in midfielder. Blin can come off. Jabua needing to come on and shore things up. Addo for Zagovic. I think we'll go with that for now. A bit more experience in the middle. Or a bit more quality I should say because the Blin should be experienced. I'm going to gamble with the shape. I'm not exactly sure what to say at this moment because yeah, I'm just going to upset the team if I say I'm not happy with it. Shot fear out to Zillinger. Coming forward again. Yeah, I regret my team selection here. Salah intercepts. Gory, can we finally get another goal? Put this game to bed. Gory down this left side now. We've got runners in the box. He goes back to Salah. Whips across. Rivero. Heads just wide, but at least it was our highlight. Round 20 to go. I probably should have brought Amasuchi on. I could still bring him on on this right side, but I think and G's might, might be the better choice over there. Really not ideal that we're hanging on. Free kick though is us with the ball. Sends it forward but it's easy for the keeper. Goes long with it. We need to win the ball. We don't. Bessic is in. 
Besic, big save, can't accept you. I'm going to demand more. Corner whipped in. Big header from Zakaria. Maya back into the box. Besic. Cross. Zillinger. And Karnasetch has to be alert to it. Ten to go. Can we hang on? Didn't think I'd be saying this at the start of the game. It's a corner. Tafana with it. Batella gets it away. Can we break? It's a Govic. Belotti's not the quickest, but we need him to make a run here. The runners to the left. Zagovic ignores them and goes to nil. Nil to Belotti. Belotti fires in, but he looks offside. He's not got his arm up, which is the Italian football manager on FM22 anyway. And unfortunately, it remains 4-3. Really helpful replay there. Thanks, football manager. Into injury time. Four minutes to see out. We've got a highlight. Bachao, Jabua. We need to keep the ball. Salah into Gori. Sends it forward, and G will get there. And G cuts inside. Back to nil. Nil on the overlap. Sicario back to nil. We we'll just need to keep the ball. Nil falls in low. And Belotti, this time it will count. It's taken us 90 minutes of this match, but we finally look like we're heading through to the next round. We've had an absolute scare here in this one, conceding the three goals on the night. Thankfully, we've managed to score two ourselves. Belotti, making sure we're getting through. Thankfully this gamble hasn't backfired and that's full time. 5-3 on aggregate a lot tighter than it should have been. I'm going to say it's a bit of a let off. And most of them are taking it the right way which is good. Right so who else is through? Leon have thrashed Andalek 7-3. Leverkusen got through as we thought. Ajax on penalties are through. Berlin see out the game 1 0 against Shakhtar. Lazio thrash PSV 5 0. Dortmund do get through in the end 3 0 away from home. St Gallen beating Genk 5 2 on aggregate. And of course ourselves. I think we've got the draw tomorrow, so I'll be back for that. Right, so here we go then, the Europa League second knockout round draw. I think we probably want someone like St Gallen, maybe the best we can get. Ideally we want to avoid Dortmund and Arsenal. Yeah, I think probably St Gallen are the best we can hope for. Wouldn't mind Sassuolo as well, we can beat them. We've obviously beaten Lazio as well this season, and everyone else is a bit of an unknown quantity. So let's see who we get then. Lazio, Arsenal, so we've avoided Arsenal at least. This is who we want. And we haven't got them. Dortmund, Monaco, Ajax v Napoli. Okay, so we've avoided a couple of the teams we didn't want. Okay, so we're at home first. Who's it going to be? Athletic Bilbao. Interesting tie. We'll have a look at them in a second. So let's see what sort of quality they've got. If we just sort by transfer value. Recognise a couple of the downs from a Bilbao save I did. Nico Serrano looks like he's developing for a really good player. Sansa as well, pretty good. Vencedor. Nico Williams still there. Not the best version I've seen of Williams, but should he's still a pretty good player. Yeah, they're pretty decent, aren't they? We've got Kepa Ariza Balaga back there as well, another pl a player that I looked at in January for goalkeeper competition.
Right, so we know who we're facing then. We'll see when that's going to be. We've got a lot of fixture congestion coming up now in March. So, big month. Juve in the league in a game where at the moment we're theoretically in the title race. One point behind them in, who are top of the league. We could really put ourselves in contention for the league. But if we lose, then we start to look at the top four maybe instead. Then we've got AC Milan in our first leg of the Coppa Italia semi-final. Then Inter away. Then the Europa League against Bilbao. Then AC in the league. The second leg of the Europa League. And then Atalanta away who are having a pretty good season in fifth. So this is a make or break month for the season. Basically tell us whether we're going to get any silverware this season. If we can get to April still involved, I'll be really happy <laughs> with that. Of course, we'll still be in the Copper Italia bar then. But I think the next episode, we've got to come back for Juve and AC Milan. Right, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.